So we're going to start with just a chain stitch. So you can look at my how to get started videos, but basically I'm going to make a peace sign. I have my end down here. I'm going to lay it over my fingers. I'm going to press my thumb. I'm going to pinch the yarn with my thumb and middle finger. I'm going to wrap it around twice, second time wrapping toward the back. So now I have my peace sign with my yarn wrapped twice. I'm going to insert my hook through and grab the far back piece of yarn. Now look at my fingers on the bottom. I'm just going to pinch these threads here and let go of everything. Pull gently. Now I have my yarn on my hook. So I'm going to start with a row of chain stitches and I'm going to make my row of chain stitches be the, the width of my device. Let's get started. We're just going to yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. So now I have a row of chain stitches and you want to hold it so all the little V's are facing you. We're going to do a bunch of single crochets. Now this was our height stitch so I'm going to skip it. So in the second one, one, two, Insert your hook in the top V, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through your remaining two stitches, and we'll have our first single crochet. And remember, so it glides easier, turn your hook down toward your work so it comes through nice and easy. Now look at that top of our first stitch that we made. We're going to go ahead and mark this, and you'll see why in a little while. Put a safety pin or a paper clip, or if you have one of these nice little yarn things, they're real cheap. If you look at the top, you'll see like a V of your single crochet you just made. Mark both of them. Make sure you have clearly, very nice and cleanly, you have your uh, marker through both pieces of your V, both, both yarns. So I have that marked just for, so we can tell what's going on later. So now, I'm just going to finish my single crochets and the rest of this chain stitch. See, I already have it, so you gotta, you got to be careful. It looks like I could go here, but you can see my last stitch is already in there. So I'm going to go to the next one. Yarn over, pull through, and try not to pull and distort it as you go. Insert, yarn over, pull through. So look at this last one. It looks like it could, could be confusing. The top of your V is the piece in the, in the middle that comes out of your knot, okay? This is the, your top. So. Alright, now we're done. So I'm going to single crochet in just the top of the V going all the way down. Then I'm going to turn my work around, single crochet in the other side of this same V. So I'm going to start making a pouch. So hold your yarn, hold it so the V's, so your work is like this, so the V's facing you, so you can clearly see them. And I have, like again, the first one's marked, in case you lose track. Now I'm just going to do a, I'm going to do a um, chain stitch from my height, this will be my last chain stitch. And now I'm just going to single crochet in each top V of the prior row. Now this was my height stitch, so ignore it. So insert your yarn, pull through, insert, pull through both. Now I have my first single crochet in this row. Uh, you see that first V I just created on this row? I'm going to mark this one as well. Now I'm just going to continue, do a single crochet in just the top part of each V. Very good. Now, you see I have that last V. If I didn't have this here, it might be a little more confusing. So I'm going to work it, insert it in the top part of the V or the back part of the V. So now, I am going to do the back part. I'm just going to see there's our marker. I worked a single crochet in this part of the last stitch. 
Now I'm going to do like a single crochet in this part of the last stitch. So I'm going to turn it, insert my hook, and this. Now, now this is my top of the V since I've turned it. Single crochet. And I just go all the way back. Keep doing single crochets all the way down. Okay, now I've went all the way to the end. Now what I'm going to do, you see how I had marked that stitch there? From here on, I'm going to just go around and around doing single crochets, picking up both pieces of the, you know, both parts of the V. So now I'm doing ordinary single crochet. And I basically turned a single row into a circular pattern. So I'm just going to go around and around. And you'll see a pout starting to form. Once your item's the appropriate length, go ahead and just leave some length. And this yarn over once and pull through. It's just a little slip stitch. Pull tight. And cut. Little drawstring at the top. I'm just going to use regular yarn and a contrasting color so you can see what I'm doing. So I have it doubled over from you hold it at the end. You want it to extend past the width a few inches. So just a few inches past. And now I'm going to make a second piece the same length. I'm just holding it the same length. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on one side and just in the second row somewhere I'm going to stick my hook through and I'm just going to go in and out every other one. I'm going to pull this through. Hold one piece of it. Do it on the other side. I'm going to put my hook in the same hole, go back and forth. And pick up that same piece. Okay. See I have it encircling the entire pouch. And now I'm going to take my two ends, just tie them in a knot. If you're using ribbon, you might want to make two knots or a little stay fray on them, whatever you need to do. Now I'm going to do the same thing with this piece, but I'm going to have it come out this side. So I'm going to hold it here, find pretty much the opposite end, right about here. Like I said, you don't have to be exact, especially with crochet. So I can even, I'm just going to use the same trench. I'm just going to go in and out of the same pieces, and come out where I had the two pieces come out. I'm just going to grab this guy, pull it through, Okay, now on the other side, do the same thing using the same hole. Hmm, this one's a little odd. Okay, hold on. Figure it out. And don't worry about it being. Okay, I gotta make sure I have the right one. See, I'm pulling this one, it's coming out, so move these out of the way. Gonna pull it through. Now pull them together. 
Keep manipulating it to both ends are the same, just like the other side. And again, hold the two ends together. Tie a knot. And like I said, I'm just showing you how to do it. You want to use something, something that makes your item look good. So now I have my drawstring. And there you go. If you need to reinforce, you would just... So there's my little bag I made. So remember I started with a chain stitch, did single crochet in both sides of the V, and just went around the round the round for my length. Now if I'm going to put something in here that needs reinforcement, what I would do is, take this out, I would just turn the whole item inside out and line it with like a little dress sock, one of those thin socks, and just tack it on the bottom and at the top, and then my bag would have a little liner. So that'd be a good way to make little change purses or something, or little um, pouches for earbuds. Okay, I hope that's helpful. Thank you.